Hi, welcome to Calibre, and today we're going to talk about how to create Equilibri projects. And there are two ways in the new Equilibri 0.6 uh, that you can uh, do that. Uh, so here we have the Sioux Falls uh, network, the traditional uh, sketch Sioux Falls network used for a lot of uh, research, used a lot in research. And uh, if we go here, project projects from layers this this layer is exactly what was imported from the the test instance uh, links and nodes everything is already prepared uh, there's a, a section on the documentation on how to prepare networks for import uh, I'm not gonna go over that so we can go here on uh, create project project create projects from layers and that's the the old screen of creating trust some of you might recognize so uh, the first seven fields here are the mandatory ones, as you cannot initialize them. Uh, and the two first ones here for node are also the, you cannot initialize or the mandatory ones. Uh, but many other fields uh, show here, and I'm gonna show you why they appear there. Uh, if you go into parameters, the equilibrium parameters here, and go to network, that are fields, for links and nodes. For links, so nodes, we only have two links nodes there, uh, uh, listed there, which were the mandatory. And for links, we have all the mandatory plus other ones. We have name and two-way links, lanes, capacity, and speed. So each one of them, for each one of these, we would have A, B, and B, A. Uh, there's more to notice here. I'm not gonna go over that right now. Um, let's go here. So basically, uh, just associate what is what, link ID, init node, terminus node, direction, distance, modes, link type, uh, name don't have length capacity I have its capacity um, this uh, this network is the uh, direction network but let's let's put capacity for a B and BA um, is there speed there's a speed there we can put speed there uh, there's a couple more things I need I need free flow time I need B and power which is our alpha and beta respectively for the BPR uh, function and um, I don't think I need anything else for nodes I have node ID and is centroid the centroid flag and I I'm not gonna import anything else I'm gonna create project I'm gonna go to see a false import it created it's done uh, uh, leave this outside for a bit and let's get the imported guy there I'm gonna remove this layer for now let's get imported and there you have an imported network um, with all the equilibrate network editing power so if you move a node the links move with it if you move if you move a link a new node is created and the A nodes, B nodes get updated and, um, and that's it right so this this was importing networks with uh, from layers let's let's suppose now I want to actually import a network from OpenStreetMaps. I can also do that. I can project, create project from OpenStreetMaps. I could just say, you know, import from the, my area, or I could just say, you know what? Sea Falls, South Dakota, USA. So, um, imported OSM. Oh, OSM, I'm sorry. Open and um, as soon as you press OK, this is this is going to freeze a little bit. The interface, while it's downloading, is uh, still not threaded. I'll probably thread it at some point. Uh, the 
time consuming step here is actually importing the network that part is fully threaded and uh, should work uh, well should would not freeze your your interface in any case while it, it does the network import there let's let's look what it's doing here so in the in the parameters file we had a couple things uh, that were interesting so for example link type which is a mandatory field I was you know just put in there the highway tag from from OpenStreetMaps for name bring the name um, for lanes uh, you know from OSM sources lanes and if you don't have because it's a two-way uh, um, information piece of information uh, what do I do if I only have information for uh, for the link as a whole not per di direction well if it's lanes uh, divide into say two lanes put one for each direction if it is a speed which comes from max speed copy the same speed for both links so uh, also uh, it will import by mode and these are the modes that were created they're being created car transit walk and bike and uh, for among all these links here which are all the link types that exist uh, for bicycle I'm only going to get these link types among uh, my my universe here. X plus all the unknown ones, everything that is not listed there, which are link types custom to that area or somebody mistagged, uh, mis uh, it's going to get assigned bicycle. Unless, of course, there's a bicycle node. There's you know one link of this type where bicycles are not allowed. Uh, same thing for cars, transit, and uh, walk. Transit, these are not transit routes. These are just l links where transit vehicles could uh, 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 go uh, into. So um, you can edit this here and you know that will change, uh, of course, the import. Or you could just say, you know what, I only want to imp uh, import cars. I'm going to de delete this and um, I'm going to only import cars. Uh, I'm going to close this, I'm not going to do anything. It has finished. So um, import a total of 15,391 links, 11,173 nodes generated and downloaded for this bounding box here, which is a you know, 354 square kilometers um, area. So if I get that layer, that is all the OpenStreetMaps, very detailed import. Uh, again, with all the Equilibre network editing power, if I edit uh, a node, uh, all the links go with it and, uh, and so forth. So that's it. That's how you create projects using uh, Equilibre uh, from with inside QGIS. Uh, and uh, hope to see you guys next time. Thank you.